bother you. Jer E ordered a wanware set from you not long ago, right? We're friends of his. He's been telling us how impressed he is with the quality, considering how affordable it was. So we just had to come and take a look for ourselves. Sure. Which model are you looking for? Um, we don't really know a whole lot about wineware. Let's just go with Jer E's choice. Would you be able to show us the one he bought? Jer E picked up his set not long ago. As a quality imitation of an antique wineware set, it has the look and feel of a luxury item. Just so you're aware, we don't have many of this model left in stock. And now that Mr. Jer E has taken one, I'm afraid it may encourage the price to go up a little. Don't worry. Price shouldn't be an issue. I'm sure we can work something out. But I'm just a little hazy on one thing. Did Jer E's wineware set include wine glasses, or...? For this set, the wine glasses are sold separately. Minimum purchase is one glass, maximum is four. Mr. Jer E bought... two. Okay. Thanks, Lin Long. Seems there's a little more to buying wineware than I first thought. We'll have to mull it over. Well, don't take too long. We could sell out any day now. All right, see you next time. This is turning into a real headache. Uh, I'd just like to point out that we have the self-professed Grand Master of Fieldwork here to thank for being wholly incapable of tailing an ordinary civilian without being seen. It's not like you did any better. My specialty is information trading, okay? I don't have the physical agility. What's your excuse? I... uh... Fair point. Yeelong, so has the plan failed? Oh, if we can't figure out where Jerry went, there's not much we can do. But why was he buying liquor at Shinue Kiosk anyway? To celebrate? If so, it's no ordinary celebration. What do you mean? First of all, Jer E isn't much of a drinker. On some level, he hates alcohol because of what it did to his father. If he was just looking to celebrate by himself, he wouldn't spend his meager savings on an expensive bottle of alcohol, let alone buy a pair of special wine glasses. No, this is a victory feast, held in honor of Jer E's private sponsor. Whoever this person is clearly enjoys hard liquor and has a very high status. Hence the need for expensive-looking wineware. Now where might we find Fatui who matched that description, I wonder? Fatui officials... Hmm, should be either the Snezhnyan Embassy or the Northland Bank. Have both locations surrounded. Take as many people as you need. Lady Yelan, is it time for us to make our move? If so, you can count me in. Get with the program, would you? This is a covert surveillance operation. Jury may be vigilant, but that doesn't mean the same is true for his drinking buddy. In which case, we don't need to change tactics. Just change who we're following. Great idea! So we just need to find out who Jury bought that liquor for and follow them instead! But Lady Yelan, if we get caught, this could become a major diplomatic incident. I'm well aware, but don't you see? Jury is gambling everything on this. If we really want to catch him, we're going to have to accept a little risk ourselves. Stick to your orders, and make sure we're covering all other bases too. Anywhere else Jer E might be going. I want eyes on those locations. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, Lady Yelan. Jer E may be a slippery character, but we'll keep a close watch on the movements of all Fatui officials. I'll be waiting for you at the tea house. If I'm guessing correctly, Fatui officials are likely to take action at night. You should go and get ready. Then meet me at Yensheng Tea House. Wen Yuan just sent word that the Fatui ambassador, Yusupov, just left the embassy alone. He's heading in the direction of Qingxu Pool. Qingxu Pool? That's the place Jerry mentioned in his manifesto! It looks like that's where they've arranged to meet. Sensible choice, I'll give them that. Qingxu Pool is always crawling with monsters. Most people wouldn't dream of going there. It's one place they won't need to worry about being seen. Oh no, we gotta go get them! Let's go. If my hunch is correct, we just might hit the jackpot this time. Crawling with monsters.
Anyone with any sense steers well clear of this place. I've looked into the place before. There's a worker's entrance somewhere around here. Follow me. There's been some work done on this place in the past, but it's a bit of a labyrinth inside. I can't guarantee we'll be safe once we're underground. The workers left an emergency access route. If we can find it, this will be a much easier journey. Still, be ready to fight at any moment. Any resistance needs to be taken out quickly and quietly. We don't want to attract too much attention. Don't worry, we're all professionals here. By the way, Yelan, where are your three little helpers at? They have other things to take care of first. We couldn't afford to wait for them, but they'll join us later. trouble. I see that? That's gotta be the Fatui Ambassador here to meet Ju Yi. Looks like he went through that door. That must be the emergency access route, right? Come on, let's hurry! This is the construction worker's emergency access route, but it's closed tight. Trying to break through would be risky. Let's see if we can find another way. Illusion shattered!
Shine down. Stabilize. Busted. Take it easy. The waters flowed into the groove, and now the statues have lit up. Okay, now we should be able to move the statues. We should be nearly at the bottom now. Let's wrap this up. This is order. Get out of here! Out of the way! Everybody stand back! Just like we rehearsed! Quietly now. Here comes the catch. Illusion shattered! Now you shall perish! Mmm. <laughs> I can tell from the aroma that this is very fine liquor indeed. I'm impressed. Come on, bottoms up. Uh, after you, of course. <coughs> oh, sorry, that went down the wrong way. I've never drunk anything this strong before. It'll take me some getting used to. <laughs> You'll get there. 
If you want to stay friends with us, you have to drink with us. <coughs> I'll do my best. You're more of a lightweight than I thought. Already struggling after one glass? <laughs> I thought you were made of sterner stuff. You certainly kept it together when you were poisoning your teacher's soup. Come on, another round. Less talking, more drinking. <laughs> sure. You didn't leave me much of a choice, though, did you? Just the mention of poisoning sends shivers down my spine. I'm more timid than you realize. Every time I poisoned him, I had to hide away at home for a few days because I was so scared of getting caught. Look, I know it has not been easy for you, my friend. We appreciate all your hard work. But, oh, I have to say, you really are quite a genius at poisoning people. I mean, the poison we brought from Snezhnaya is as strong as this wine, but you found a way to turn it into an imperceptible, slow-acting poison and came up with the idea of delivering it through fish soup. What was it you said? Oh, oh, yeah. You said the soup's fishy flavor neutralizes the pungency of the poison, and this process even makes the soup tastier as a result. How did you think of that? It struck me one day when I was fishing. I'm lucky it did. Otherwise, I'm not sure I would have been able to fool Uncle Tien. You have performed excellently. The Fatui will continue to provide the support you need to consolidate your position as Tian Shu. Of course, this is as long as you continue to do as we instruct. Aside from Ching Shu Pool, we also have some other requests for you, which we will inform you of in due course. Don't worry. Whatever tasks you have for me, I will perform them diligently. Did you hear that? It was poison! That's why Uncle Tian hasn't been feeling well recently. It's all Juryi's doing. What a nasty guy! Seize him! Hold on. Did you bring a camera? If not, you can use mine. This is quite a scene. We have to capture it for posterity. Ah. <sighs> Excellent liquor. We've, uh, seen no progress on the diplomatic front, and everyone has been eyeing up the treasure of Ching Shu Pool. It's been a real headache for me. But soon, everything will be taken care of, and I can report back on a successful mission. Thank you, Juryi. Ah, <sighs> I remember when I first saw you. I knew right away that you would make a good partner for us. Hey, do you still remember what I said to you? How could I forget? You said a lowly commoner like me could never be seen as a serious candidate for the Tianshu, no matter how hard I work. The only way is for you to shine bright in the Tianshu's darkest moment. I think you were absolutely right. Yes, under normal circumstances, the gap between you and other people could only ever grow wider over time. Just look at your two competitors. Chen Wei had wealth. Ming Bo had reputation. But you? You had nothing. You were just another nobody. And that's why I decided to help you. You know, there's an old saying in the Fatui. Give a starving dog a bone, and it'll guard your home for the rest of its life. Yes. I cannot thank you enough for your generous support. <laughs> uh, you know, the best thing about you is that you do as you're told without complaining. Hey, keep up the good work, and I can assure you, you'll never have to worry about Mora again. Uh, heck, when you're not in the company of the Fatui, you'll be able to throw your weight around as much as you want. How about that? Uncle Gao said that Jur E has low self esteem. Seems he was right. He was worried that whatever advantage he might have now will diminish over time, so the Fatui persuaded him that he should act while he can. Do you have any more film in the camera? Then get ready to use it. Tonight's grand finale should be coming up any minute now. How well this goes for us depends on how Jur E plays his hand. Ooh, is there any more alcohol? Hmm, go on. Fill me up. I'm in a good mood today. 
and I'm gonna drink my fill. Mm, make sure to get me home safely afterward. There's only a little left. Here, I'll fill your glass. If you like it, I can bring you some more next time. Oh. 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 <laughs> this is the good stuff. It is great. Huh? <coughs> what the? Sure, ye. You. You poisoned my wine? But, but when? You seem surprised, Mr. Yusupov. You. How could you? How could I not? I've sacrificed years of my life studying and reflecting to prepare myself for this position. And in the end, I even had to poison my own teacher. You really think I'd put myself through all that just to become your little puppet? I don't want to bow down to anyone ever again. And that includes you. You imbecile. It's the Fatui who got you to where you are. Do you understand? If I disappear with no explanation, the embassy will come after you. They'll get to the bottom of this. Mark my words. Do you see the haystack in the corner? Underneath it is a pile of explosives. And next door in the dark room are the three undercover agents you sent to infiltrate the Black Cliff Forge. I'm gonna stay here till I see you slip into unconsciousness. Then I'm gonna set this on fire. Once the flames burn through the hay, they'll ignite the explosives, the ruins will collapse, and everything will be buried. What? What do you hope to? I took the liberty of leaving some evidence of your contact with the undercover agents at the Black Cliff Forge. It won't take long for people to join the dots. Two missing person cases will become one as the truth gradually reveals itself. The Fatui planted undercover agents in the Black Cliff Forge to steal their signature ruin-grade explosives. Their plan was to blow through the solid floor tiles in the dead of night and seize the treasure of Ching Shu Pool. Ah, but things didn't quite go to plan. Mistakes were made that led to the accidental deaths of the entire crew. Faced with the overwhelming evidence, the Embassy won't investigate this any further. In fact, They'll be only too happy to blame it all on a rogue operation by you. It explains why you acted alone, while exonerating the rest of the Embassy of any liability. Of course, none of that will have anything to do with me. When all of this comes to my attention, I'm afraid I'll have no choice but to cancel the Ching Shu Pool redevelopment plan immediately. I guess then, I'll be Tian Shu in my own right, with a clean record and well out of the Fatui's reach. <laughs> Cherry, do you really think you're gonna get away with this? The Fatui has a record of everything. That includes the poison, all interactions between us, even my trip here tonight. After I die, they'll come looking, and they'll get to the bottom of this. A record? Oh. You must mean the one in the hands of your second-in-command, Theophon. What? How... how do you know about that? Because when you contacted me, I also made contact with your associates. I have Theophon to thank for providing me with the poison I used on you today. He'll help me tie up all the loose ends. After all, your untimely demise comes with a few perks for him. He has been eyeing your position for a long time now. <sighs> that traitor! Jar <coughs> Yi, you! Shh, 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 shh. Relax. It's over. After tonight, everyone gets what they want. And anyone else in the know is either my accomplice or about to be taken out of the picture. Sweet dreams, Mr. Yusupov. <laughs>
I did a little surveying on the way here and found that you'd left yourself three escape routes in case things went south. I have them all surrounded. If you're thinking of trying anything, save yourself the effort. The game's up. We were here the whole time and have pictures of everything. They came out pretty nicely. Wanna see them? The game's up? Forgive me, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to, Miss Yelan. I happened to discover a Fatui operation here, so I approached them on the pretext of joining forces and eventually brought them down from within. If it pleases you, Miss Yelan, I'd be only too happy to have you join me in investigating this matter. This is how you want to play it, huh? Fine. You do you. All we need to do to convict you is establish that the poison in his system is the same as in Uncle Tien's. <sighs> hmm. Nothing else you wanted to add? Let's leave it there then. Time to go. One wrong move and it all comes crashing down. I should have been more careful. You followed him here, didn't you? I was so focused on keeping myself out of sight, I forgot he was a potential liability. Let's talk about this, Yelan. I gave you my word that I would live up to the Tianshu name, and that much I can still guarantee. <laughs> your point being? When I take office, I can guarantee that I will act in your best interests. In fact, all of you here tonight can expect very generous treatment in the future. I don't deny that I used underhanded methods to get here. But given my lowly origins, what other choice did I have? <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? Even now. What do you think? Exactly. Jury. Clever people can always come up with a good excuse. But while you might be able to get other people to believe you, you'll never be able to deceive yourself. There's nothing wrong with wanting to win other people's respect, but when has Uncle Tian ever looked down on you? He was like a teacher and a father to you, but you chose to repay that by poisoning him. Whatever positive goal you may have started out with, you threw it away in that moment. That's enough. I... Of course. What makes this even crueler is that you managed to convince yourself there was no other way. Uncle Tien was always going to give you this opportunity. Even if you'd done nothing at all. Out of everyone in the world, he is the one who trusts you the most. So much that he drank your fish soup without doubting you, not for one second. That's enough! That's enough. Life is like fishing. It cannot be rushed. Whatever you do... Impatience will accomplish nothing. I was just like you once, desperate to prove myself. Only later did I realize things do not always turn out the way you plan. But you have to keep calm to carry on. You're still young. Be patient, believe in yourself, and don't look outside yourself to prove your value. Where's Jury these days? It's been a long time since he last paid me a visit. <laughs> Maybe he's just busy. <laughs> well, next time, if he doesn't bring a pot of piping hot fish soup, don't let him in. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you were thinking about, you'll have plenty of time to mull it over in prison. Oh, I almost forgot. If the Fatui find out what happened today, prison might not turn out to be the safest place for you. Trying to have friends on both sides, it has a way of turning everyone against you. But right now, I have an opportunity for you. Huh? Sorry, things are about to get extremely busy for me. Let's meet at Yenshang Tea House tomorrow morning. I'll have someone remove the explosives. Then, there's someone I have to go and see. Need our help with that? No, it could be dangerous. You should leave this one to the professionals. Don't worry, as long as they're willing to cooperate, this'll be a straightforward deal. Get some rest. See you tomorrow.